Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the video. Uh, if you've got to the end of Moonrise Towers in oh, Chapter 2 friend. of, or Act 2 of Baldur's Gate 3 like me, and you're met with Holson giving you this dialogue, you if may be thinking that you screwed up and that it's pretty much the end. Needs me. Um, it's not. I wish it were different. I'm gonna, Truly I end up figuring it out how you can still recruit him and lift the Shadow Curse, the curse this far towards the end of the act and have him join you into Act 3. Um, I'll be showing you through that today, so after you speak to him here, You'll want to fast travel to the last light in. Um, everyone at this point, spoilers, is pretty much either moved on or dead in this area. So it's kind of empty. Um, go back into this main middle building. Uh, if you see lag, my PC did not like this game and recording software at the same time. So forgive me. Uh, and then this first door on the right here, go in here. Now you will need a scroll of being able to speak with the dead. So if you haven't got that, pause that, go grab one, uh, get one and come back here. Uh, basically, you want to use it on this art guy. Art, what's, I can't remember his last name. Um, but yeah, cast it, or if you have it, you know, make sure you use it wherever you need. Speak to this guy, and you'll get this little thing. What would normally happen is if you did it early, he would still be alive, and you'd do this. He'll give you a sort of bunch of mumbo jumbo about who he is and. And what he does and why he was there. I'm just gonna. I kind of might skip a few bits of the dialogue. You don't like watch it and go through it yourself. I've already done it, so I was kind of skipping. If you care about the story at this part, I've already seen it. Uh, take your time. But after that, uh, you want to head back to Moonrise Towers and speak to Holson, who will now be kind of permanently here because he's kind of technically left your party. Um, he'll no longer be in your camp, and he'll basically just sit here, um, until the end of time. So, make your way back, and, uh, I got this little, um, dialogue option here from the dream person in our, in our tadpole head thing. Um, I skipped through it quickly because it's not relevant. Um, so do your own thing, though, if you get that. Anyway, uh, he's over in this next building. It's quite a decent little walk. I wish they'd put a fast travel now dead in the building. It would have made life easier. Go speak to Hulson again, and you'll see there is a new dialogue option to talk about uh, what Art told you. This is what we've been lacking. What comes next will prove dangerous. At this point, he'll walk off that way, and he'll need to walk towards like the back entrance of the building for some reason, but... Go back to the last light in, um, and you might just have to wait a minute or two for him to finally get to the end of the building. You'll see me uh, go to look for the dot there, but it's not there, and he, I can see he's still just left the building. And then suddenly he reappears there. So from the last light in, go past this building now and down this little like right off off road bit um, towards the beach. Come down here, and up on these rocks, you'll see Halsin now stood there. Basically, talk to him, and he'll talk you through what he's going to do. He goes through a portal to save this Thaniel kid. Um, there is a fight here where you have to defend his portal. It, in my opinion, it's very hard. Um, it spams things at you like ridiculous amount. Um, if you have a darkness or something that can obstruct the portal, basically keep putting them on top of the portal, otherwise you'll have ranged guys just knock it down. It has about 150 HP, but that goes quick once it starts spamming enemies at you. Um, and walls of fire, anything that can block, uh, is your best friend here. Okay, so from this point, uh, once the fight's over, be careful, because Holson walks off into the shadow, so try and teleport back to the camp, like, as soon as you get out of that fight, because he can get shadow cursed and die. Uh, it's a bit buggy, you see me kind of mess it up here a few times, because I'm stood in some rubbish. Uh, but yes, <laughs> do be careful, he will die, because uh, he just wanders off into shadow curse. Uh, I don't know why, but basically come back to camp um, after the fight, and go speak to Holson. And you'll see, obviously, Thaniel, the boy he rescued, is now uh, resting there. Thaniel is resting. The shadows rendered him in two when... He'll basically explain what Thaniel's problem is and what your next step is. 
the missing half may not come willingly. Uh, if you have spoken you and found the Oliver kid, I, I you can basically already tell him you wish. that you know of Ol Every Oliver um, me, I'm yours. and where he is. Against, seems you're right. uh, and you basically want to go to where that is. Now, I'll show you in a second where that is. Now, as you can see on this map, you'll want to head to this area uh, from Last Light Inn. Uh, you can get the teleport there called the Ruined Battlefield, and you'll need to speak to this Oliver kid. Now, if it's your first time doing it, you have to do a little bit of hide and seek with him. Uh, just do it for yourself. There is a dialogue option around it. If not, there's a small fight. Um, basically, this Oliver kid won't be too happy that you know who he is. Um, and he'll run away into this little portal. I don't want to play with you anymore. So just go through all his dialogue options once you've done the initial thing. If you haven't, if you have, then just come back to him. Uh, follow him through the portal, and the second you step through, there will be a fight. Now, the key with this fight is if you kill the two um, parents around him, or shadow parents, uh, it drops his main like barrier's health. Uh, so you want to do that as soon as possible. Uh, I left one of them to the end. I went straight for the thingy, as you can see. Um, but yeah, definitely kill these quickly. Also, every turn he will spawn little guys that only have one HP, but they can do some serious damage, as you'll see. Um, so you'll want to kill them pretty much uh, as soon as possible. Now, I'll probably just cut to the end of this fight. You don't want to see me fight, but that's kind of the, tr the trick to it. Um, but yeah, just kill the parents and then ignore the little ones if you can, and they're not doing too much damage, and just... Uh, kill his barrier as soon as possible. The second you do that, all the little ones will despawn and it will go to a dialogue option. So, you'll see here now, after he dies, you get a dialogue uh, section. You know, the copy the choices I did um, that worked well for me. I got basically him to stand down and, and merge back with Thaniel. Um, it worked for me. Uh, and then after this, you'll have to go back to the last light camp, speak to Halson again. Uh, he'll say, basically, well done, the Shadow Curse is going to be lifted anytime soon, and he's happy to join your party and go on to Act 3 with you. So you no longer lose him in Act 2. Uh, you'll then have to, Daniel will speak to you and say he's got a reward and whatnot for you, so that's another cool thing to go and grab. Um, now, the Shadow Curse doesn't actually lift until you actually leave the area for good, so if you're trying to do this early on to lift it, um, so you don't have to deal with all the Shadow stuff, unfortunately... Uh, even if you do that, it basically won't, because as the character says, until you beat the final boss for Act 2, uh, he can't fully lift it. So, <laughs> if you're planning that for this video, then unfortunately it won't work. Uh, this is just how to keep Halson in your party and how to lift the Shadow Curse. Uh, I hope this was useful. I've not done a lot of uh, tutorial or videos like this before. It was just something I figured out and thought, why not help someone else? Um, Thank you for watching uh, and hopefully see you in the next video.